understand there's karma There's heat, there's flames, there's lava Volcanic, what can we do it gets manic Oh, I know what I'd rather When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers what my sound preferences are i like bass i like and if it can have quantity and quality uh yeah i'm rocking it especially mid bass i like the slam over the sub bass rumble i like my mids super clean i'm um, not a big fan of of overly colored overly thick overly warm mids not a big fan of that and highs that are very sweet and seem to be able to keep up without ever being overbearing or in your face so Welcome back, this is a Tone Deaf Monk, and I would like you to do something for me. If you like my content, please hit like and subscribe. Helps my channel grow, and growing it is, because I'm keeping it real, keeping it fun. Today's vid is on the Titan S2 <laughs> from Dunu. Lovely little IM, yeah? Kind of little cyberpunk action. See, I don't know what that red thing does on the top, but I like it. And uh, it's got a top and bottom to match. So, I sh let's just jump right into this little guy. Easy to drive. Uh, and you know it's going to be good right off the bat when there's a high res sticker on it as well, right? Uh, 16 ohms, 107 dB. Why do I tell you that? Because it's easy to drive, which it is. Um, what else do you need to know? It's a single dynamic driver. It sells for 80 bucks. Keep that in mind during this video. 
Um, it's got a, this is what Dunu says, high rigidity dome with flexible suspension, composite diaphragm, dual magnetic circuits, and dual chamber dynamic driver unit. Jumping right into track impressions. Easier than lying. Halsey. Super busy track. That's why I listen to this one. Uh, most IMs on uh, m most gear makes me turn it down. Um, the Titan S2 pulled through like a champ. Uh, it's a testament to the quality of this little driver. Dancing on my own, Callum Scott. Don't judge, okay? I'm a very sensitive person. Natural vocals, slightly forward as it should be in the recording. Great replay. Piano sounds nicely weighted. Bubbles by Yoshi Horikawa. I listened to this for stage. It's got a bunch of balls dropping at different heights and different sizes, and you can should be able to pick that up. I thought the the S2 had nice layering depth to the stage. Amazing how good an under $100 dynamic driver can get now. That was really my takeaway from this song. Uh, it does do a pretty good job of playing in a 3D space with separation of depth. Uh, and you could hear the balls drop from different heights. Very well done overall. Give life back to music. No review of mine should not include some kind of EDM because I that's I, one of my genres that I like a lot. Uh, Daft Punk. Uh, nice hits to the bass notes. Nice decay. That's what I'm listening for. Uh, and the texture of the bass notes as well. Uh, the S2 played that back fast and punchy just like I prefer. I Love Yous by Haley Steinfeld. Song, uh, it does have lots of bass in this, and I'm listening for the combination of a lot of bass and female vocals. How can that balance the two out? Uh, and I thought it was nicely balanced. Uh, bass doesn't overpower the mids, and so I checkmark that one off as well played. Poem of Chinese Drum. All 10 minutes of Hawkman Yim's pounding on drums. Um, I thought the, the Dunu had some nice texture and decay. This wasn't world class, uh, that's for sure. It wasn't the Falcon Ultra level bass, but it was very respectful uh, and was pretty standout again for 80 bucks, for 100 bucks, for under 200 bucks. So. Um, couple more for you because I think giving these track impressions really gives you a good idea of how I, oh. how I heard this IEM. The Circle of Life by Tina Gao. Not sure if you don't know who she is. She's an electric cellist rocker and she rocks. I love her. Uh, cello. It's actually... I think one of the harder instruments to replicate properly without uh, the, the right amount of note weight. It needs the right amount of note weight to sound correct. The Titan S um, II passed with flying colors. Uh, it had the proper note weight. It, uh, and not only that, though, um, the violin strings in the second part of the song, uh, I have no complaints either there. Uh, the timbre and the tonality of the string instruments were very well done. Paradox by M.E.B. Vocal clarity and bass hits is what I'm looking for in this track. Uh, do I wish now the Titan S2 had a bit more bass? Yes. Um, and just to balance out a little bit more of the vocals that this track asks for. And I'll get into what I used for sources uh, as well just in a little bit. 
um, Where the Streets Have No Name by U2. At the beginning, there is some low sub bass, uh, and here I was wishing the Titan S2 uh, pulled down a little bit lower into that, could could bring out a little bit more into that track. Um, and vocals plays just a tad on the thin side. And this is also gonna, these are my impressions with my sources and tips that I use, so I want you to keep that in mind um, after I talk about these impressions, okay? So Rackham, uh, this is the live version by Dead Can Dance. On some IMs, uh, this playback actually sounds like it's in a very large studio recording. But in reality, it should sound it should sound like a large concert hall if done correctly. The Titan S2 was the latter. It pulled through nicely. Nice big stage. Overall, well done. What's up? Uh, another track that I'm trying to listen for female vocals. I prefer female vocals over male vocals. And so when I have an I am like this that really uh, gets gets my juices flowing, I ended up playing more female vocal centric tracks because that's what I like to hear and it really worked well for this I am. So I kept playing more of that. Um, the Titan S2 excels on female vocals, so I'll say that straight out. It's clean, it's clear, it has great nuances in her voice. So um, that was how I heard that particular track. Now I'm going to move on to some jazz. Flight of the Cosmic Hippo by Bella Fleck. Really, really good recording. Um, most of my stuff is done off DSD, FLAC files, uh, some title, but mostly local files from my DAPs. Uh, here the Dunu shows how good and resolving it can be. The banjo in this song was good. It wasn't earth shattering, um, but again, it's showing the quality of this dynamic driver. Um, but it is clear in this song and doing ABs uh, that if you move up into the Falcon Ultra, do you get a, a better? Is this a mini Falcon Ultra? Yes and no. Uh, the Falcon Ultra, just in comparison, hits harder, more texture, better resolution, better timbre of the instruments. Uh, the banjo, for instance, right? It, it really sounded more like a banjo. Uh, better highs. The stage was also more open in 3D. A clear upgrade in the Falcon Ultra. Um, but again, this is less than half its price. So keeping that in mind, it it fared fairly well. It definitely has some Falcon Ultra DNA into the Titan S2 for sure. Overall sound. How did the Titan S2 sound to me? Well, I thought the bass was tight. Uh, and again, my preferences are tight, punchy mid bass over uh, lots of sub bass. Uh, and that's uh, that's that's my preferences. That's the kind of bass I like. I like it uh, very weighted still, where it does add some some weight into uh, instrumental, into male vocals, that kind of stuff. I thought the the bass uh, was better than average. Uh, it had nice decay. It had detailed bass, uh, and really just stand out for the, its price range. Um, it doesn't again hit the performance of my top single dynamic sets the uh, uh, soft ears twilight the falcon ultra the himalaya um but again well done dunu well done dunu under 100 bucks mids no real complaints here uh upper mids do get for me a bit splashy at volumes but not enough to uh, really make me critique this too hardly uh, with any kind of hate speech whatsoever. Um, the vocal sometimes sounds slightly mm, off timbre. Um, but again, not terrible. And again, not... Uh, we're, we're talking about an $80 set, and I do keep mentioning that because uh, I'm not making excuses for this I am. I just think of how good value it is. 
So this set, this eighty dollar set, sounds like a four hundred dollar dynamic set from a year and a half ago, right? So to my ears, instrumental like cymbal strikes sometimes have a little bit too much energy uh, that they should. Um, so and and that's me with my fifty year plus ears um, that you know I want a little bit more. Um, and even then, it was just just a little bit too too much. But again, I didn't mind it at all. It didn't bother me. But I could just when I'm critically listening to this, I am. I could tell that maybe there was a little bit too much added up top. Male vocals. Um, when I'm playing it off of, uh, now I'm talking, uh, I'll talk later a little bit more on the sources, um, but um, I was using for most of my, what I just talked about, my track impressions off of this um, Onyx Overture XM5. Now the sound signature of this player and its special sauce is it adds like an extra dimension of bass that you didn't know you were missing at the bottom and it just really fills it in not boosted so much per se as it just really filled out the bottom end and what a wonderful pairing this was um the other thing that this DAP really does well is it's a very clean um, mid-range and it has a really nice uh, smooth yet very detailed uh, top end. This is the new ESS 9039S2 Pro DAC chips uh, with uh, the 1612 op amps. Uh, it's a wonderful player. Really good pairing uh, with uh, the Titan S2. And so with that being said, with knowing that this player is adding an extra dimension of bass in the bottom end, your results might vary from my impressions uh, because I found something that could probably enhance what I, what I like for my sound signature and incorporate it uh, colored, uh, in a colored way into the S2, okay? Um, for me, even with that, uh, the the Titan S2 on male vocals um, almost have the correct tonality, but falls just short of having the perfect weight, and they do sound still a little bit thin for me. The Titan S2 does fair better in female vocals it favors female vocals that's for sure over male vocals and we pull up a graph we can see that there is a little bit more upper mids energy uh, though this overall tuning is very balanced uh, there's just a little bit more extra upper mids energy that is giving that favoritism to female vocals and again, I prefer female vocals over male vocals. Um, so it really worked well uh, for my favor as well. Um, and I like it skewed that in that direction over too sub bassy, too weighted on the bottom end where it messes up uh, female vocals. So let's talk about trouble. Uh, the trouble with treble. In this case, there is no trouble with treble. Uh, it's tastefully done. Uh, I don't think, I don't, I didn't get sibilance uh, for my older years and it let me play louder for the most part uh, without too much fatiguing um, not a set I would pick up for a seriously long jam session uh, I would probably something again just slightly more weighted a Dunu Falcon Ultra for instance a um, little bit warmer in the bottom end uh, and that's what I like now let's talk about that setup again using the Onyx uh, player. Uh, it is close to $800 US for this, so it's not a cheap player. It is performing like a high-end uh, DAP player. I did also try it on the KN N3 Ultra um, in tube mode, uh, not great. Uh, in solid state mode, uh, better. Uh, the Shandling, again, a little slightly warm uh, DAP, the M5 Ultra, uh, and um, also the Onyx 
uh, alpha little dongle. So this little guy is a very analogy sound, uh, smooths everything over quite nicely, and yet is very detailed and almost it's very neutral in its uh, replay. Uh, so it doesn't color the sound too much, but it does smooth over everything. And I actually quite enjoyed it with the uh, the Titan S2. If I was doing a dongle, this would be my choice in dongles. Um, and it turned out the Onyx, it just happened to turn out. I'm not playing favoritism here. It's just what I liked. Um, and this was this is a completely different sound signature to this, by the way. Uh, this is a lot more energetic and slightly V-shaped. Um, it just really played to the the weaknesses of the Titan S2 and made them strengths for me. So, uh, in conclusion, um, you get a full load of accessories. Now, I could talk for five minutes about hmm, how much I love this Dunu cable. I'm going to probably buy about ten of them if I can. Uh, I absolutely freaking love this cable. Um, on the DaVinci, I had problems with my little uh, modular thing disconnecting, like the little round thing. This one seems to be much better. Uh, when I tighten it, it doesn't come apart. Comes with a 3.5, comes with 4.4 and a modular cable. Kind of has a very nice uh, cloth uh, bottom part. And this four core cable splits off into two at the top, nice and thin, not rubbery, which is quite nice. So it didn't get tangly. Uh, and then it kind of terminates into this uh, slightly recessed two pin. Wow, that's in there, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to show you fitment here as well. I really like these shells. Um, they kind of got a bit more angular design, but in my ears, um, I didn't have any, it was very comfortable for me. They have a nice weight, uh, but this cable, uh, uh, I'm using pen on orange lacquer tips, um, the narrower bore, so the orange ones, uh, worked great for this. I didn't try any of the, oh, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I ended up switching out of these tips and I was using the BGVPW01 tip actually because uh, what I found with these little guys, they were a wider bore and they kind of just flare out just a little bit. I found the staging was better with these and just overall fitment. They, they fit a little bit shallower. Um, but whatever it was with these particular tips, they work really, really well for me. Uh, so that was the BGVPW01 tip. Uh, and I normally cycle through all the tips. Like I, I tried the, the Dunu s s tips, was also very, very nice. Uh, the candy tips that come included with the box as well. It comes with a crap load of tips um, that should work for everybody. Like... The candy tips are more of a narrow bore, so they'll kind of reduce the top end a little bit, but I find narrower bore tips reduce the stage, and I'm a stage whore. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's try fitment with that. You know, the other reason why I really like these tips is I could get it a little bit uh, further into my ear, a little deeper. And when I did that, also the cable became a little bit more comfortable and I got a really good seal and I got a really good isolation with these little bit shorter tips. So they worked really well for me. Again, tips are so personal. Uh, play with tips. Uh, invest in some tips. I do recommend that highly. What else does it come with? Well, it comes with one of the nicest little carrying cases. I love this little Dunu carrying case uh, as well. Uh, pretty nice little meshy thing on top, little strappy thing on the bottom. What more could you want, right? So back to, that was a long-winded conclusion that I didn't finish. Uh, full load of accessories. The case, the sweet uh, cable, the all the loads of tips, all for eighty bucks. Nice shell, um, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but who cares? 
Um, and a great sounding I am to boot. Even if you were just buying it for the accessories, it'd be well worth the 80 bucks. Uh, for those, who is this I am for? Well, for those who actually like a little bit more energetic top end um, and a tighter mid bass over sub bass. People who prioritize female vocals and instrumental, it's for us. Uh, the Titan S is also then for you. It's worth it, honestly, just for the accessories. I'll say that again. In comparison, I thought I would do a comparison to two IMs, which is fair, uh, because, and like I said, for most of my single dynamic drivers, uh, it was gonna have to go up against the Simgot EA 500 LM. It's it's a fabulous little I am. Now, for the same price, you get a nice little case. You get a single-ended mm, cheesy cable. And that's what you get. And you get a bunch of different nozzles that you can play around with your sound tuning. So on my particular version, I A-beat it up against the shootout. Uh, with a silver nozzle red ring and a 500 level mesh filter over it because that's the only way I can take the EA 500 uh, upper mids and tame them down enough that I can listen to it for more than 10 minutes. Uh, the upper mids, again, even with the taming of the shrew, uh, still come through more. Um, the Titan S2, though, comes through cleaner um, and there's more sparkle up top uh, the but the big difference between these two was the timbre of the instruments then the tonality of the vocals uh, were better on the Titan for me bass was equal I didn't uh, they, I think they were head-to-head -head, um, trading blows so for me I, I picked the Titan over the EA 500 LM. Now, how about its big brother, um, the Falcon Ultra? I really do love this. I am. I use it with the blue nozzles. So, the Falcon Ultra sounds to me uh, greatly more balanced, uh, more dynamic, uh, and that's because of the bottom end has more weight. You can hear more details, so it's more resolving, uh, smoother, more natural mids and vocals especially. Uh, bass has more body to it, and mo male uh, vocals are now fully weighted the way I really think they sound the most natural and organic. And without sacrificing female vocals, they're not too weighted. So female vocals still sound very articulate and have the correct, uh, I like, like edginess in her voice, like Melissa Etheridge or uh, Janis Joplin, stuff like that, right? So I thought vocals were bang on uh, verse on the uh, on the Falcon Ultra. Um, when I A B the two, right, you realize that the Titan. Titan's mids have more of a glare to them, I would say, when you switch over to the Falcon Ultra and you go, oh, mm, that's how it should be. But if, you, and that's how the two compared against each other pretty favorably for less than half its price but again i'll say the falcon ultra is so the, definitely the superior uh of the two so but bravo um dunu for making such a, a phenomenal release fully accessorized full package lovely little i am bigger than a golf clap for sure